Hey boys and boys, it is approximately 3.47 on 19 December 2010. So, let's just pretend it's Thursday or something like that. Um, yeah, I'm all done with college for now. I, I mean, my first semester, so. So far, everything's gone well. Then again, I haven't got my grades back yet, so we'll see, but I'm confident. Anyway, this the first topic I'm going to cover, um, top, the first topic is how do you deal with your telling people about your past, or do you just avoid it? It depends on the situation. In queer spaces, I kind of like, either I state outright when people ask, like, I'm trans, Right? And, and I talk about, you know, being a girl or being seen as a girl, right? And, like, just my experiences with it, my experiences with my past. Um, or if someone doesn't ask me outright, I, like, drop heavy hints and I will talk about my past. Like, when I was a little girl and people look at me like, hmm? Not that that's really happened much, but, like, some people have told me, like, I legit thought you were just some really flamboyant gay guy or something not flamboyant, but, like, I thought you were just really some, like, feminine gay guy. I totally didn't know. I'm like, it's okay. But, it was very, it's very interesting to, to do that and to see people's reactions sometimes to be like, oh, I remember being in the Girl Scouts. Mm. And they're like, no. But, uh, anyway course in other situations when I fear for my safety or I don't know how people would handle it and maybe I want to kind of see if I can just sort of pass I don't like using the word pass but I don't have any kind of equivalent uh, or any kind of word that really means what I uh, I'm trying to convey which is to be seen as um, the gender I'm most comfortable being seen as. Anyway, so when I'm pass, like when I pass, you know, in, in spaces that aren't queer, I don't like to come out all the time and, and by talking about my past too much. I can't talk about how, like, when I was little, I had a lot of Hello Kitty, well, not a lot of Hello Kitty, well, no, a lot of Hello Kitty things and dolls and. And, um, I was in ballet and tap dancing, and I effing loved cute animals, and I still do, and just things like that. Because as soon as I say that, I mean, I'm either seen as a really femmy guy, which I'm fine with, or, or it's all of a sudden, like, <whistles> passing gone, and now and all of a sudden I'm unseen as butch lesbian, which I'm not, so... Second topic is what do I what am I going to do for the holidays? Um, and how do I deal with my family specifically? Like, am I out to them or not? What I'm doing for the holidays? I'm gonna go down to my grandma's house and celebrate Christmas. And uh, the cool thing about my family is that we always celebrate um, by opening presents on Christmas Eve. So there's none of that whole Christmas Day, Christmas Day. And uh, after that, I'll, I'll probably spend some time down at my grandma's house then come back up here and, you know, chill until, uh, until the second semester of college starts up again. How do I deal with my family? Um, well, this year's going to be kind of interesting with my family because I'm not out to them. At least I'm not out to extended kind of family. And by extended family, I mean aunts, uncles, cousins, my grandparents, really. I'm, I'm not out to them. So, they suspect something's going on. I'm fairly certain, but... But no one's ever asked me outright. Birth name. Are you transgender? I kind of wish they would, because then I could start a conversation with them, and I wouldn't have to be all like... <sighs> you know? But because they don't know, it's always birth name, female pronouns, 
you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a sister, I'm a daughter, I'm a granddaughter, I'm a niece. It's not quite fun. I hope I can distract myself enough from that. I really do. Um, but other than that, Christmas generally is very enjoyable with my family. Um, but this year's going to be interesting because for the past few family events, I've had to dress in clothing that does not set off the family's woo 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 something's going on alarm. Um, although personally, I think, I mean, like, when I look at myself in those clothing, I'm just like, how the fuck can you not tell that I don't like being in those clothes? Um, I would give anything this Christmas to get my hair buzzed nice and short and have a button down shirt and a nice tie and maybe a suit jacket I don't know I don't know how suits work quite that much but I do know a nice pair of dress pants and shoes shiny shoes and socks that go with the pants and my belt all that you know I would so kill for that but this year it's probably going to be opting for something that's slightly androgynous. Tristan asked if we like plaid. And if we do, how many plaid clo plaid articles we own. Um, you know, I do enjoy plaid, and I can say I probably have three or four different plaid items. And it's not because I have Scottish heritage. No, um, but my soft spot isn't really for plaid. I mean, I do like it, but oh, stripes horizontal stripes they are my like my obsession in terms of fashion anyway um well look at that it's a little after 4 a.m hmm I should keep on answering questions alex asked if we were good students um what time period are you inquiring about Elementary school? Pretty good, yeah. Junior high? A lot of rough spots. Followed by one really good time. Uh, high school? <laughs> College? So. My mom's always telling me that I have the potential to have A's. I have the potential to do better than what I do. Um, to which I'm like, okay, mom. Um, so yeah, boys and boys. Um, that's that for that, I guess. My question is, do you like video games? If so, on which system? What game has been your all-time favorite to play? Have you uh, ever done marathon sessions? For me, the longest marathons have usually been spending big chunks of my day playing video games. Just recently, I've um, maybe like within the span of two days, I spent 13 hours playing Legend of Zelda. So, thank God the semester's over and I have no work to really be tending to right now, because otherwise, that's not so good. Anyway, um, Merry Christmas, uh, Happy Kwanzaa, mm, I don't really know any other holidays that might be occurring within this time period, so... Boxing Day? If so, happy Boxing Day, I think. Um, and yeah, 